speak out of turn, but I don't think Oliver Stone believes this at all. Um, so I don't think anybody believes it. I mean, it's been so long. And how, where's the where, where's the proof? So you've I'm made saying. a movie on the Armenian genocide, and by the way, God bless you for doing that because it's an important thing I think to remember and learn from. But you're having trouble getting it out there because why? Well, first of all, we had trouble in Glendale, California, which is a huge Armenian uh, population. The diaspora there, it's the second largest group of Armenians in the world outside outside of Armenia it's the first it's the it's the largest group and they wouldn't let us advertise because they called it too political and we ended up making a big stink about it got media involved and it's they ended up political they say it's political and we argue and I argue completely it's not political at all it's a human rights story there's no politics behind it. is the Holocaust political no right and the problem is that our government hasn't recognized the Armenian genocide 47 of our 50 states have but our federal government hasn't, and it's because we, I think it's, I think it's because we have a, an air base in Turkey and we're trying to keep things nice. And right, so it implicates the Ottomans, the Turks. The Turks. And speaking of foreign influence on our domestic politics, the government of, Tur the government of Turkey has an effect on decisions our policymakers make. Absolutely, and I think this is one of those situations. So I've been lo lobbying Congress the last couple days to say, hey, look, look at this. What we're trying to say is, it, it, call it genocide. Acknowledge that it's genocide, because if you don't, Genocide denied is genocide continued, and it allows other things to be happening today in South Sudan, in Iraq, and in Syria, uh, to the Christians there. It's happening now. So do you think the fact, I mean, no one ever says this, it wasn't just the Armenians being killed by the Ottoman Turks, it was a Christian minority being slaughtered by a Muslim majority. Do you absolutely think that true. makes it harder for people to acknowledge it was genocide? Uh, I think absolutely it does. And, they're not, and that's why they're not acknowledging what's going on today. What a shame. Well, I'm going to watch it, and I'm glad you made it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. We're talking to Sean Hannity.